Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Diorama Don here. Welcome everybody. Uh, this is a Spitfire aeroplane that I made um, a few weeks ago now. Um, I made it from polystyrene. Uh, the wings are polystyrene with uh, two millimeter cardboard underneath to, to support it. Uh, and the body is, is all of polystyrene. If you're interested, um, please look up the video and it will show you how I made it. Uh, so because it's made of polystyrene, um, it, it doesn't really matter what I do with it. I can cut it up, chop it up, do what I like. If you've made a resin uh, model of a military vehicle, it, it, it's not, <laughs> you really don't want to go cutting it up and chopping it up um, after you've spent hours and hours uh, making it. Uh, but with this it doesn't matter, it's just, just a piece of polystyrene. And I, I've used it in a previous diorama also, uh, having been crash landed. So I've cut it back even further, and uh, I, I want to make it look like it's crashed into uh, the sea. So I, I've cut it um, underneath, cut the, the wing off, that will be floating in the water there. And then it'll be, I've stuck a cocktail stick up up into the polystyrene and then I'll stick that down into the polystyrene like that. So it will look as though it's um, just crashed into the sea. So what I need to do now, I've made this diorama base with a cardboard um, a perimeter. So I need to make this look like water. Now, <laughs> hereby hangs the tail. I don't know how to do that. You can buy uh, resin, uh, what do you call it, you, you put the two stuff, two, two things together and it makes uh, um, a resin type of uh, water looking stuff. I've bought it in the past, I don't like it and it doesn't last. You use a little bit and then you go back a few weeks later, use a bit more and it's gone off. It doesn't set. I've found anyway. So I'm going to use um, plaster of Paris. Okay, so what I need to do is go away and uh, see what I can do. I'll stick this in into place with copious amounts of um, uh, hot melt glue. So that's absolutely uh, firm on there. And then tease some plaster of Paris all around it to, to give the impression of waves. So wish me luck. I'll go away and do that. And uh, when I come back, we'll see what kind of terrible mess I've made. So I mixed my plaster of Paris together and uh, teased it up to the uh, to the plane and the surrounding area. Unfortunately, I, I didn't have enough. So I had to complete the whole thing with the wall filler. So it's a combination of wall filler and uh, plaster of Paris. Plaster of Paris, it, it, it started to dry as I was working it. It dries so quickly. You have to be very, very fast, very quick working with it. Uh, in fact, you could have done the whole thing with uh, wall filler, really. It just takes a little bit longer to dry. So now that it is dry, I've got to paint it. And if you have watched any of my other videos, you know I'm not great at painting. So um, I'm going to have to look up on YouTube <laughs> the videos on there as to how to paint water. So um, I'll do the best I can. I'll show you what it's like, <laughs> hopefully. And um, I'll be back to show you. So again, wish me the best. It's looking okay. It's not too bad. Should be, if, if I can get a reasonably good water colour effect, then uh, it should be a, a decent looking uh, diorama. Anyway, I'll have a go and I'll come back. So, finished it off. Um, I did have reservations as to how it would turn out, uh, but I think it worked out pretty well, really. Um, the only body of water that a Spitfire would probably have crashed into uh, is the English Channel. So it probably is, isn't quite as blue as that, uh, but 
it's the only colour I had, uh, so uh, blue it is. It's probably a lot, a lot greyer colour than uh, than I've made it. But to, to get the shape of the water was easily easy enough with um, the plaster of Paris and the wall filler, uh, just teasing it up into into the waves and crashing up to the uh, side of the plane there. Uh, but uh, it's the painting where I, I fail dismally. Uh, but I, I think it's okay. Um, passable. <laughs> B minus. But the idea of it uh, being you, you don't necessarily need to buy expensive plain kits if, if this is what you want to uh, uh, do with it. So by following my... Um, uh, instruction if you like uh, of a polystyrene plane then it's going to cost you nothing for the plane uh, a bit of cardboard at the back there and uh, yeah so it would be easier uh, to cut a plane up like this than using your expensive resin kit uh, and it would basically be the same um, outcome anyway <laughs> this is my version of uh, a crashed plane into water. So, uh, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, given you any ideas, maybe, you can uh, follow up on, um, please subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell and uh, um, like button. <laughs> Can't think of the names. Um, and you will be informed when new videos come along. So in between time, uh, there will be new videos coming very soon. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. And as always, I wish you the very best of happy modeling.